Hello dear person watching this video, it's once again Soccer. Gonna be doing another analysis uh, of game recent campaign. Uh, gonna be sticking mostly to first person. Uh, yeah, just to get a bit more into the detail as in uh, uh, what's going on. So, I'm gonna be working with limited information. I'm a bit cheating because uh, I played this game so I kinda know what's going on, but still. Uh, yeah, just gonna get into some analysis. So, this is a PvP. Uh, in a tournament I played recently. I'm um, opening up, well, rather standard. I mean, if, if you don't go proxy, you can rush. Everything's kind of fine. Um, lately in PvP, uh, many people like build their uh, balance and gateways back at the base. Uh, it's good against proxies. Um, against Terran, also the same, like you want to want to create walls against Reapers, and also especially on this map, on Yansu. Still, sometimes you see the can rush, and if a can rush is coming, it's always preferable to have your, your structures at the bottom of the ramp. But yeah, nothing strange happening. Scouting a bit for the proxies, and then going into a 15 15 or 15 16 gas. So, quite standard opening. Other plan for spotting, or oracles, or mothership of course, and uh, war prisms. And then I'm gonna check as well if there's maybe a proxy at the, at the natural. Um, sometimes later they do this uh, ten gate. Uh, e e even even just one ten gate can be a bit dangerous if you if you don't end up scouting it, and you skip the zealot. But uh, even if you scout this late and uh, chrono boost the zealot, I think it's it's still fine. So a late scout at the natural against the one gateway, still okay. It's a bit risky against some other stuff that can happen, but uh, ends up working fine in this case. So boost out the mothership core. Quickest way to deny the scouting probe, and I'm getting one stalker. Um, playing kind of risky in this game uh, since I'm not scouting at all. There could be all kind of proxy, stargate or or ten gate, three gate stuff happening. There could be two gates here. Couldn't boosting stalkers, but yeah, taking a bit of a risk not scouting. And also I'm gonna go for one gate nexus. Uh, one gate nexus into a robo. That is. Uh, I think this build. Mm, it's definitely risky against Stargate opening. It's very very bad, but against the D, it's I think the the best opening you can choose. Against three gate, I think with this build, uh, if executed properly, um, one is also ahead. And after blink, it kind of depends on the execution, but I still think it's okay. And uh, since this is a blink heavy map, or yeah, just since this is PvP. Taking a gamble like this, um, yeah, I mean, why not? Why not just gamble? Uh, if you always play play safe and reactionary, you can get punished pretty hard. So very early Phoenix. Um, I get punished a bit here. Gonna lose the mothership course since um, my stalker was all across the map. Otherwise, uh, with uh, these two units, DPS uh, would have been high enough. Um, due to save the mothership core, so I know I'm pretty much panicking uh, as uh, Stargate is the worst thing my opponent could have done. And also I lose the mothership core and Stargate 3 gate is already very very hard to hold if you don't lose your mothership core that early. So right now I'm just thinking, oh shit, I'm going to die. Adding a third Stargate quickly, uh, gateway quickly to just get my units out. Immortal is not too useful um, at this moment. I mean, uh, they're good once you have a couple of units, can maybe force field and uh, have enough damage to sh shut down the oracles. But if an attack was to come in, let's say 30 to 60 seconds, uh, they have an immortal, it's just gonna get lifted anyway. And uh, rather have more gateway units. So I think I'm spending a couple of chrono boosts here on the gateways and uh, finally get the, the scouting phoenix out. I think I might have even been able to do it a bit quicker. Um, because right now I'm still not sure, am I being all in? There could be three gateways of units warping, warping around here. Or is he also taking a, a very greedy expand? And uh, yeah, this scouting should definitely have occurred quicker, so could have committed more to units or than probes. So right now I'm still not certain. I see the chrono boosts on his gates. So I think an attack is on an end. Gonna warp in a couple of more units, and then I see the nexus. So I'm still a bit confused as to what's going on. And uh, yeah, I'm not too worried about um, 
losing a couple of probes at this moment because uh, my main focus is on staying alive. And uh, if I was to put a put a large amount of uh, stalkers in my main, there's always the danger of, of getting trapped in by by a force field here or so. So a bit hasn't done to to that, but now that I've seen the expansion, um, I feel a bit more confident to come with the probes. I mean, I lost quite quite a lot of probes, but since I had an earlier nexus. I think I'm still in a decent position, but um, any, da any, da any damage I take from now on is just gonna get me more and more behind. So I ended up getting a Citadel um, once I was able to confirm that he was also expanding, not home base all ending. And yeah, if your opponent has feelings on the map, he can always get a bit of damage in, and it's very, very hard to, uh, to be able to deny it fully. Um, I think if you have spotter pylons here or so. You can always uh, move in quickly and start moving, shooting, I would say, appear at the edge of your vision. You can be able to do another damage, but you really gotta be uh, very, very quick there with your reflexes. Okay, once again, flying in from dark. Like, had I had a spotter here, maybe I could have uh, positioned a bit better and uh, done more damage, but yeah, by now, I'm. Um, not feeling too good. I, I still know there's a threat of phoenixes and also I've been forced into going to the blink route. Or not forced but I, but I chose to do it since uh, I want to be able to kill the, the aliens at some point. And um, if you go for blink and your opponent um, goes for robotech or, or stargate into robo, yeah you got mobility at the start and uh, maybe a bit better for harass. But once it gets to the, to the bigger army fights, uh, having invested into those stalkers, and the blink upgrade is not really uh, worth worth uh, that much. So if you get blink, you definitely want to get uh, something done. Since uh, by the time of my last scout, uh, I felt that the robo was rather flesh freshly built, and he might not have uh, very many models, so maybe I might choose to. Uh, Go for Colossus quickly. I'm heading a couple of gateways. I'm gonna go for for a blink attack. It's not fully all in. Um, just six gates, uh, getting the upgrades and kind of transition. But since he was able to spot these gateways uh, with the Phoenixes flying over here, as you saw, I was trying to deny it over here with the scouting. Uh, but at this point, I already kind of know. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Like if he if he builds now, um, if he kind of boosts his robo. Warps and units, it's not playing too greedy. This attack is not gonna um, do too much damage, but since I invested so much already into the blink, I kind of feel like um, I have to go at this point. <coughs> Grabbing a couple of units for free here. Okay, just one stalker. And, um, see, he's not in position. Um, actually, at this point, I am a mothership core died, and I was a bit uh, late in rebuilding it. Like, uh, if I had a mothership core in this position with the time warp, time warp here, would have been much better for me. But I think it just uh, died a while ago. <laughs> Looks like issues with the uh, with the zooming in and out. So anyway, I blink in. This fighting position is still rather good for me. Uh, catch a void ray off guard, end up not killing it. Um, maybe a bit unlucky, but then again. He was quick in retreating, so I think ah, free mortal for me. That's good. Like if I get free mortals, I might be able to do more damage too. But uh, actually, I end up taking lots of damage here. Like initially, this fight uh, looked as, as if it would be uh, good for me, but with those phoenixes preventing the retreat, and even before that, yeah, I'm just losing a lot and not really getting anything done. I mean, you was killed 26 to 7. Um. Yeah, this game is looking pretty grim. Uh, I saw he was going for Immortals and orders to, to counter my Blink Stalkers. So at home, going for uh, the Templar Archive, as well as the Charge Upgrade, soon to be. But yeah, I still don't feel too comfortable. I still feel like I need to get something done. Delay, delay an attack of this. I mean, if you look at the unit counts here, if you were to walk across the map, a warp in here and attack me, I'd probably die. So still keeping um, using the blink stalkers to keep him in the town. Like the slow units which can escape um, or be sent back home, but the blink stalkers here, yeah, 
they need to do something at least buy me some time and um, just hope that he focuses too much on countering the blink stalkers so that the archon charge um, can triumph later on uh, since the source army there uh, was safe to walk up here do a bit of health damage and uh, it's really not such a big big uh, it's really not, not that hard to, to get some moves, like, moves like this done with blink stalkers if your opponent doesn't go for blink um, but still um, right now in the game I still remember when I played I still felt I was very far behind I remembered how many stalkers I lost Phoenix already killed a ton of units at the start and I felt like I hadn't like everything kinda went wrong in this game but looking at the supply count the game actually does not look as uh, bad as it, as it feels I should have definitely been a bit more active about scouting here at this point <coughs> See the sentries, so much energy, energy, and uh, looking at the production tab, see he's already building colossi and adding the second draw wall. Uh, I think had I known this, uh, I even might have gone for a full frontal attack at this point, like I would have moved out a bit earlier and uh, tried to break him uh, off of two against two base with like two or three archons. But yeah, pretty bad scouting for me uh, at this point in the game, and yeah, I wasn't expecting the, the double robo here. Then we go for, go for kind of a standard push, like taking a third base and um, maybe pushing, like depending on what I see. I'm gonna opt for a push or not. Finally, the scout, um, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, way too late. And um, yeah, I'm kind of hoping for him to meet me out in the middle of the map right now. Um, but overall, I still in this game I'm feeling very panicked. Uh, probably not right for this. So I mean, if we look at the supply, it's looking good for me. But considering the tech he's invested in, I th think I'm a bit behind. But had I just uh, gone in transition into uh, either Tempest or either Tempest or Colossal myself, I think I would have been in a decent position this game. But yeah, losing all those units, maybe not really appreciating how much damage uh, went down here. Um, and maybe not appreciating our expansion. Yeah, made me just panic a bit too much, I think. So right now I'm sending a couple of zealots to the right here. To uh, either, like these zealots are going to be able to kill the cannon on their own. So either want to draw his units back or be able to do some economy damage. So this is here. And the plan is right now to distract him uh, with this thing. So that maybe it's always a bit out of position, but yeah. End up walk walking into Colossi and make his army retreat, so not the best engagement. Uh, since I already th see uh, three Colossi right now, um, and just looking at the army overall, I know I'm gonna win a fight at the at the open ground, but against three Colossi and a mothership pro with a time warp and or foot and overcharge, fighting in a narrow choke like this isn't gonna be possible, so. Uh, end up retreating and end the robo bay on my own. And right now, I know he's gonna be able to kill me with like five colossi or so. So, if I was to just retreat here and start building my army or so, this push is gonna kill me. So, setting up the prison to do some harass her damage and uh, posture a bit uh, with my army, like just to keep him busy. Once again, a bit of harass damage. Why not that hard to do with blink against no blink? And I'm staying aggressive on the map just to prevent him uh, from killing me. Uh, this drop here was a good idea, <laughs> and if it wasn't for the fact that he had phoenixes. Um, I don't know if he rebuilt that one, or... I don't know, it's probably from earlier. Just forgot that he s still had those around, so... It's sloppy for me to even commit, a, commit an immortal to an attack like this. Uh, really here. Shouldn't worry about it too much, and... Starting to get into the Colossal production, um, but yeah, with these bigger army sizes and a lower Colossal count, it's a very tough situation. So I see him move over here, kind of know that I can't beat him or beat his army. So once again, I set up the squad, see his army movement, and I'm just gonna run and kind of go for go for the base trade or at least threaten it because. Well, in my opinion, I can't really win a straight-up fight at this moment, so I'm, I'm just running away and uh, 
waiting for maybe a couple more Colossi to come out or this to do much damage. Actually in this case uh, he sent all of his zealots um, back to the base to defend. So getting this army maybe with the feedback on the mothership core uh, with this I think I would have been able to win the fight. But yeah, maybe with, with the knobs more or, or better spotting would have been able to make that decision but still if he's careful he can always recall. Uh, you know, like the initial plan was just to base trade and buy time, but looking at the way he split his army, taking a fight would have been good, but then again he probably wouldn't split up the army. So, blinking down here, doing a bit more damage. Like these salads, uh, had, had they went in a bit earlier, I think they would have been able to do a lot of damage, but maybe a slight misclick or so. And I see the recall, so I retreat here. I don't know, the Colossal are coming, so I have to retreat here. So, um, I was able to kill a couple of probes, so I'm probably a bit um, ahead in economy right now. But I'm still, uh, I still have the, the worst army I feel, since he has more Colossa. But I have three at the moment, so with a uh, five or seven, I think I would be able to take the fight. So at this point, uh, maybe delay a bit more, open a couple of zealots to Harris, and just uh, stand defensively, or even com continue feigning the or threatening the base trade to keep him from getting a fr frontal engagement. So, moving out once again uh, to go for the base trait on the left side of the map and he catches me a bit off guard. Uh, <laughs> and so, I think everybody knows that you're, you're standing here, right click over there. So, you already decides to split and also, yeah, didn't have too, too good of a vision. So, definitely should be using more of those hallucinates. Uh, was a bit busy harassing, but still. Really should have scouted a bit more and uh, not let this army split happen because uh, if we look at it now, he has five colossi, I have three and uh, two about to pop. So if I had moved all my army here, or maybe been standing here for base trade or defensively with uh, overcharge or so and not like this, I think I would have been in a pretty good position to take this game uh, with the lead in probes. But. Mm, yeah, just just a just a mistake or a, yeah, good, good reaction by him. So and I'm taking the fight here and losing. And yeah, this was a pretty weird game. Like um, lots of action overall with the with the air units overall. And the blink carriers, which kind of went shitty at the start, uh, but then it ended up working out somehow in the end as well. But uh, maybe just from the mindset, like how shitty it went th at the start, made me feel a bit more behind or, or a bit more uh, pressured than I, than I should have been. And yeah, with a bit more laid back attitude in this game, I think uh, it would have been okay. Yeah, now the Colossal comes, so... Had I been able to delay the fight until this point, like uh, not even a minute, I think I would have been in a really good position even in this game, but... Or maybe a, maybe a slightly favored position, but yeah. Shouldn't be like one unit at the spot tower or just a Phoenix hallucination would have been able to to save the game. PvP, uh, like many people say it's random, but actually there's so many, so many, 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 many minor uh, decisions you have to make, and uh, yeah, it's just very pu punishing, and that's why it can sometimes uh, feel a bit random. But yeah, just one mistake uh, too much this year, and it's gonna cu end me costing the game. Um, Owl was a bit, uh, was insightful, like a first uh, person bit uh, uh, of explanation on what's going on here. And uh, I think last last time I did this, I had a bit of a longer game. But anyway, I found like he was he was lots of action and uh, kind of interesting game. Don't have that all the time with like blink pressure failing into actually not failing without <laughs> noticing it and. Yeah, there's gonna be more videos of this to come, so just comment or tweet at me uh, at SockySC2. Leave a comment on the on the YouTube video. Tell me if you liked it or not, or any suggestions for improvement. Okay, uh, that's it for me. So see you again soon.